Let's not talk to anybody else on the phone yet. Or anymore. Let's talk to Abby like I thought. Or maybe we can talk to Charlie. Uh, Charlie's closer. Okay, which one? That's Charlie. Hey, Nancy. Hey, there's been another accident. You gotta believe me, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Hmm. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one. So I returned it. Oh! And that's all there is to it? Everyone thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there. But I had nothing to do with them. I can tell you this. There's something unusual going on in this house. Hmm. What makes you say that? I'd better not say anymore. Sorry. Can you tell me more about the accidents? I'd really rather not talk about that right now. Ah, you're evading the question, Mr. Charlie. How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. What do you mean? She always does the disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose is sort of had it, you know? Hmm, I didn't know that. Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. Have you met Lewis Chandler? What do you know about him? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Have you ever heard of someone <laughs> named Valdez? I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Yeah, I just read a book on him for my history class. Diego? Maybe that's the Diego that letter was for. Did he have any children? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. Ooh. Had you come across any hidden passageways down here? You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. Oh, I found the one. The last person you saw in the parlor before the fire. I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Hasta la pasta. Hasta la pasta? Huh? Not quite sure what that means. <laughs> but, uh, huh. Have I talked to everybody? Rose is gone, huh? Oh, I've already seen her list of things to do. Where could Rose have gone? Let me see. They're painting stuff. Hmm. Uh, I don't know where Rose could be, so uh, let's go upstairs and talk to Abby. Oh, Rose is fighting with Abby. I can't hear what they're saying because of the music being too loud. Uh, I'm sorry about this. Let's turn down Listen, the music. Child, to this story of dreams and know that the beginning is more Okay. Now let's see if we can hear. Huh? Oh, I thought they were inside here. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we get to spy on Abby's room then. Lizzie Applegate and the Bandit. According to legend, El Diablo fell in love with Lizzie Applegate. Oh. Well, that's a weird legend. Wonder if it's true. So let's, let's, ooh, this is cool. We get to explore uh, Abby's room. Oh, I guess I can't look at anything at her desk. Okay. Fortune telling for business popularity by her interactive publishing. And. And. Okay, it's a Chinese word for moon. Good to know, I guess. The highlighter! Okay, this is boring. Am I gonna find something interesting in here? Nope. I guess not. Um. <laughs> The Zodiac and you. Yay, the Zodiac. Yay, yay, yay the Zodiac. Um, hmm. What? Whoa! 
Abby's been spying on people through a two-way mirror? Wow! That is interesting! Gosh, what's she up to? I'm suspicious. Mastering the art of illusion. For her, creating an atmosphere of illusion was just as important as the illusion itself. The best illusions were those that were created over a period of time or anticipated by the audience. Ooh. You know what? I'm thinking Abby's the person behind all these mysteries. And look, those are the missing flowers. Those flowers that always died. Rose mentioned them earlier. Haha. -ha. I think I've got this mystery solved. I bet Abby's the ghost. Hmm. But... Did she start the fire? I mean, maybe she's just trying to do ghost stuff and she's not the one who's causing accidents. Oh. Well, this is her jewelry box. Ooh. Anything else to look at? Do 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 do. So you use the spider on her dresser. Okay, now I can't hear the music at all. <laughs> Sorry. My child, Sorry about this, folks. I know that the beginning is more difficult than it Okay, I won't mess with the uh, volume uh, anymore after this. That's the last time. Who has called me forth from the great beyond? Oh, it's the... Uh... Yeah, we already know that Abby was faking the seance. What's this? Spy cameras? Wow. I'm impressed. This is really... What's this? Current track. Ooh. Oh, she's been faking all those sounds. I haven't heard that one. What the heck was that? I didn't quite hear that one. Huh, that's not very spooky. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, that is spooky. Huh. Interesting. So, dude, Abby's got this entire place... Got the entire place booked for a uh, ghost okay I saw the mystery kind of still don't know who caused the accidents like setting the, the uh, place on fire but now we know that there's no such thing as ghosts that's good so what do I do now hmm. Rose isn't there uh, let's see if I can spy on Lewis. Maybe Lewis left. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. What time is it? Four o'clock in the game? Alright, well, since Rose and Abby aren't there, I guess the only thing we can do is talk to Lewis or Charlie. Phone call? Oh, okay. Well, pfft. I'm not scared anymore. I just heard that in Abby's room. I guess that means Abby's back in her room. Yeah, probably. Hey, Lewis. Yes, Nancy. Do you know why the fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen? No, I don't. Now, now I remember. I, I was to purchase an antique fire screen, but never found a suitable match. I feel just terrible. I must apologize to Rose about this. I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Well, let's skip ahead in time and to, to uh, when we can spy on Lewis, which was my plan like three videos ago. Hehehe. <laughs> I got distracted by the place being set on fire and the message in the haunted mansion and all sorts of other fun stuff. 
Oh, no, 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 I don't want to go see Abby. Ah. Okay. 